How's it going, everyone? It's Cloud Chief, and I thought considering all the progress I've made on Blue, uh, now would be a good time to actually talk about my uh, Blue Mage gear progression, do a video on that. Uh, Blue Mage is a bit complicated, though, so it should be interesting seeing going into it, especially since there's a lot of stuff. I know I need to do a lot more research and figure out exactly what relic, what artifact, uh, plus three pieces I really want to get. Uh, there's a lot of different things in, uh, what was it, Blue Mage magic skills. So I know there's a lot of Blue Mage experts out there, so feel free to chime in and give any tips and comments. But I'm going to try and just go over kind of my progression that I've uh, made with uh, Blue Mage and kind of where I'm focusing going right now. So, as always, we'll start with the TP set. Uh, wait a second, I'm in movement speed. Uh, which is actually pretty good and has made a decent amount of progress so far. Um... In terms of weapon starting, I mean, this weapon is, of course, really good. I'm currently working on All Mace also. I uh, still got a bit to go on that. But even before that, I was rocking double vampirisms. Uh, I do have a Coladas, but I've yet to technically clear uh, Ironside on her. So I've restricted myself from using it, considering there's no way I would have ever obtained a weapon, even though, like I said, I've got... I got the weapons on my main, and so then I just sent them over because I'm like, my main doesn't need it. I already have a couple good ones already, and it's like, there's no reason to let the weapon just drop. So I sent them to her, but I, until I've technically cleared the NM, I've been restricting myself from using it. Just going over the premise that once I've killed it, you know, I have the drop. But anyway, so... That would be an immediate upgrade as soon as I clear Ironside and can start using the Coladas. But again, Vampirism has been getting me by decently. Uh, I do really like Vampirism. It's a uh, decent sword. It kind of gives you a little bit of everything. Uh, so as for a starting weapon for the job, I definitely think it's a good place to go. Oh, I should say before I get too deep into the video instead of just randomly bringing up... Uh, a lot of people be, will make the suggestion saying Blue Mage, you know, would be a great first job for a new or returning player for your high-end job. And honestly, I disagree on that. It, one, requires just so much stuff. You need so many different gear sets. And it just takes so much time with the spells. I think you would be better off leveling Thief or War or even like a support job like White Mage or something as your first job. And then if you wanted to do Blue Mage as your second job, I think that would make a lot more sense because then you have other things, that, another job that you can help obtain stuff. I've made a lot of progress on Blue uh, with the fact that a lot of gear has been able to be shared, uh, like a lot of stuff with my Thief. So that's just my thoughts on it, touching in on that. But let's get back to the main point at hand. So, so as soon as I beat Ironside, I'll be using a Coladas, um, and then once I obviously finish All Mace, I'll be using that. So it'll be interesting to see how you know I'm going to be using. It'll probably be using this and then using All Mace, mostly main handing All Mace. But if I end up doing content where I'm focusing on just using Savage Blade, like Glaze Mane comes to mind as something, I'll um where you might just want to be doing Savage Blade all the time and you're not trying to make sure that you ever skill chain, I could see then maining this and then offhanding uh, All Mace. But again, it'll be interesting checking things out a little more. Uh, again, Ambuscade Gear, it's a great place to start if you don't have it. I was, when I first started uh, using Blue, was using all this entire set for all of it and um it was plus two before i started using it which was another point uh it goes back to what i was talking about before by leveling another job you can get other gear ready for your second and third job and sometimes your your second job can leapfrog your first job if you do it right so the plan is currently to replace these two pieces though for my tp set with these and i already have purchase the curse pieces it's just a matter of actually getting the prayers 
Uh, so I gotta find a time to go do packets to get the body piece. And then Yillin's just been a dick to me for anyone who's been really following my streams and everything knows that um, uh, to get the headpiece. And again, I already have the uh, curse piece for that. It's just a matter of uh, getting the prayer to drop so I can uncurse it. But then, so those will get replaced for that. And then I want to also get the uh, ammo piece from Tenson. Which I'm going to try and do that this month, and considering uh, high tier battles is the campaign this month. Uh, so yeah, and other than that, I think this is pretty good. Uh, I would replace this with either Brutals or Suppa, depending on my build and set and everything. But other than that, I'm feeling pretty solid with this otherwise in terms of TP set. Um, I feel these are really good. I could get a little bit more accuracy on that. Uh, this piece just ended up being really good, and I got that on an early augment. It's got really good accuracy plus the four triple attack. So I think once I get the body and head replaced, that's going to be a big upgrade. And then, like I said, swapping brutals out for there and then getting the ammo piece. Other than just weapons, I personally don't feel that there's really much else to do for my TP set. Because once I have all that getting multi-hit, that'll be nice. Uh, I could obviously upgrade the ring, although now I'm thinking about it. Can Blue Mage use both? I'll have to double check. I'm not sure if they can use the quad attack ring that comes from Omen. But that's something else on my list. Even if not, I definitely want it for war. Um... But these are both decent rings. Obviously, this ring would get replaced first because, you know, three double attack and three triple attack as opposed to one double attack. But this is still a good ring anyway. Um, so, yeah, that's it for my TP set. My weapon skill sets, I know, leave a lot to be desired. I'll go in here. So, my CDC set... Uh, pretty much you want to focus on dex, uh, critical hit rate, and critical hit damage. If you don't have something better, these are always decent uh, weapon skill pieces to use. Um, so getting the 10 weapon skill damage and then maxing out the attribute that's going to be focused on the weapon skill that you're doing. Plus throwing in the extra accuracy and attack. That's always a good thing to do for your cape. Uh, what is it? I have these on because of the 7% weapon skill damage plus getting the accuracy and attack plus it's got, you know, decent decks on there. Uh, that's why I chose that. Um, I think I just did the math and these were just the best between the s set bonus. Actually, we'll... Maybe just did that because of the act. I don't even know. So I'm saying they, I could use a lot of improvements. I know for my weapon skill sets. Uh, because these are definitely not good pieces for weapon skilling. Apparently, these must have higher decks than. Yeah, that has no decks. Yeah, so that's what it is. It's just higher dexterity. Uh, the critical hit rate's not bad for that one. I don't think any of the other ones have any critical hit rate on it. Nope. So I could definitely do better for these three slots significantly. Uh, and again, probably one place to look would be uh, Artifact and Relic Plus 3. I feel like I must have, yeah. That's at least slightly better. A little better dex. And then that. Plus wanting this one ring would obviously be good. Uh, I'll have to look around. I think there's better rings. And then three dex there. I believe I'm going to get more out of the 2% weapon skill damage and three dex, but I could be wrong. Um, but lots of improvements I could be doing on that. 
Savage Blade, same kind of thing. Uh, you want to be focusing on strength, uh, strength and mind. So this is this is a really good ring. I really like this. This drops from one of the pop NMs, one of the NMs. I don't remember which one that drops. One of the Mage Torques, uh, and S just Sky. This drops off of them. It's a really good ring. There's another ring that's actually really good that drops off of uh, Susie from Sky which would be really good uh, and I'd like to get that at some point because uh, that has again strength and mind on it so it's just really good for Savage Blade the weapon skill damage is always nice to increase that uh, I'm using this for strength but again that is something that could be improved and then I probably just looked across uh, all these kept this one because of the weapon skill damage but then also the other uh, stats but apparently these are going to have better mind plus the strength uh, than the other set. So yeah, and I believe... Okay. Do I have another cape? I guess I only have the two capes. So get making a Savage Blade cape would be... An, uh, big upgrade so that's something I should be doing so the one that's focusing on strength as opposed to dex because obviously the dex isn't really helping much with Savage Blade I might technically be considering I have the Ambuscade Sword I might be better off just using a needle and switching uh, switching the dex to strength for now since I'm not even really using CDC at the moment and then make another one uh, that might be something that I go ahead and do but yeah, that's it for that, which isn't really that good. Uh, fast cast. I know I want to get the uh, torque. Comes from uh, Meebel Burrows. The final chamber. There's, uh, I think, a three percent fast cast torque. Be nice. Uh, getting the one fast cast earring from Limbus would be an upgrade for that. I have the one. Yeah. So I should be using that. I think I don't have the ammo on, and I should do that just because if I'm using the one thing for range attack, I'll have to play around and see how I want to manage that. But yeah, getting the uh, fast cast earring from um, Limbus would be an uh, upgrade. What is it? There's a ring that drops from the Taro or the Taru Taru in Sky. That would be a decent uh, ring to put on for fast cast. Obviously putting on like damage taken or spell interruption gear if you don't have anything else is definitely a good option. Um, yeah this piece is ridiculous for fast cast. I think I have this one just for the damage taken. There's not really much help there. I'd like to get the ley line gloves improved. Yeah, because I can that can get pushed up to three percent there, so it gives it a total of eight percent, which is really nice. So I believe I can upgrade the body piece too. I remember I believe I got this uh, from uh, was it Amintrove? Got this out of the chest, which was a nice, you know, little surprise considering I was starting blue. Um, so yeah, so fast cast could use a lot of work. Um, magic attack I know can use a lot of work. I know a lot of people have said, I can't remember the exact reason, but they don't recommend this set even though it's high in magic accuracy and attack. I think it has something to do with your skill and then also like recast speed even though it does have the set as fast cast, which would help a little bit with recast, but not a lot. Getting a belt that has magic attack either want to go probably want to go with the belt I believe you can get it from um, hope and S uh, sky I believe he drops a magic attack belt which is pretty decent um, I know I can do better than this but this is always a decent piece I mean 10 magic I see 10 magic attack can't really go bad with that 
Uh, this earring's pretty good. Uh, in terms of this earring, you could definitely do better. There's one earring that I know you can get from doing a quest, but there's like multiple earrings and you can only pick one. A quest in Adeline, it's a quest line. Uh, and the question is, would I, would it be worth it to go ahead and get that or not? I'll have to sit down and think about that. Uh, my rings could use a lot of help. Um, this isn't too bad to start. This is the Sparks ring. Uh, if you're definitely starting out, uh, any type of mage, you should definitely pick it up. And even if you're not a mage, if like for Thief, for Aeolian Edge, uh, it's really good. But the ideal thing would be to get the uh, Shiva rings plus one. Um, and just having two of those, I could get by with just one for now. Um, but that would be the next thing to do. Um, and then I'd have to look through different gear, but I know ideally you want the, uh, but essentially the curse set that you get from Sky. You get the prayers from Estrica Sky. On uh, there's a, you know, whole set there where I think most of the pieces would be better than this, especially since you can, uh, augment them and they get really good augments. Uh, I know the hands are really good for magic bursting also, but they also just have a, like a lot of magic attack. Uh, not that Malou's really focused on magic bursting, but they are just really nice pieces. But again, this is not a horrible set. You can see there's vast, uh, there's vast room for improvement, but even in the AoE party I was in the other day with very little job points, I was still getting over uh, 10k nukes. So, I, it's a starting point. This is my damage taken set. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. This is pretty solid. I believe I'm at the damage taken cap going through this. If not, I'm sure I would be if I had this replaced. But, oh, this is the CP cape for more CP. But, you can see fairly easy it's just high damage taken getting mp back because if i'm tanking more hp plus the magic and then yeah so just a solid set all around and then i started working on an idle set uh the ideal for that is to get as much regen and refresh as possible uh, I have obviously damage taken sets put in there instead, but um, yeah, the pants can get augmented with uh, refresh. The head has refresh on it. There's refresh here. I believe there's a refresh hands I can get. So honestly, I'm pretty happy with this so far. It could definitely use improvements, but this is a decent idle set so far. Um, I need to then figure out and work on a blue mage skill set. And that's essentially for finishing off any spells that are going to give bonuses to whatever spell I'm casting. Like, uh, was it Barrier Tusk, which is essentially Phalanx. More skill means I'm going to get a stronger Phalanx. So I would want to end with that. And um, that's just one example. But also just for making sure you're landing spells. Um, there was some gear that I got for that. I haven't even started setting up a set, and I would really want to sit down and look at how much blue magic skill I'm going to get from gifts and job points. Look through it real quick, but... Because uh, I know there's a certain point that you want to hit. So, I mean, I'm going to have to come back and make another video for this at some point when I really start at that. Considering I'm so low in terms of job points... I don't really want to like jump into that because it would just be so far off and the thing is when your skills low you might be trying to overshoot for what you really need so it's in the mid 20s in terms of skill I would get so close to 40 be 23 where was it the 10 So thirty. So you get thirty six skill from that, from gifts, because I actually have not gotten any yet so far.
what's my current skill at? I'm gonna get 36 more. I think it was at 550 you wanna get to. So basically I would have to get 80 skill, about 70 to 80 skill in gear. Um, and that's a lot. I know I'm gonna get some from AF. Uh, I need to do that. I actually did start on the uh, feet. I'm currently working on, I think it's the, yeah, the relic feet. Uh, upgrading them at least to the plus one. The reason for that is they increase the duration of your unbridled learning. So once you have job points in unbridled learning, you can have it's longer than five minute um, mighty guards. And I know a lot of parties will sometimes try and set up two blues, and that way you can keep up mighty guard 100% of the time. You throw a red mage in the mix, and just between that and uh, the red mage, you can keep everyone at uh, haste cap which is definitely very nice. Um, but yeah, so that's where I'm at. Like I said, uh, blue's coming along nicely, but there's also a lot of holes. Um, there's a lot of things I could use in terms of improvement. There's also talk, and I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do more research again once job points are higher, about making a spell interruption set. Essentially, so if, you know shit's hitting the fan you can make sure that you're getting a spell cast off 100 percent of the time it's good for you to be able to rebuff or if you need to stun stagger the mob or whatever's going on uh you know it's a good thing to have uh but i'm so far off i'd rather get my skill set up first before i worry about trying to set up a spell interruption set but that's where i'm currently at in terms of sets and progress that I want to do uh, like I said there's still a lot to go and just blue mage is just a whole giant project in and of itself so I'm definitely glad it's not the job I started with first and yeah as I said at the start of the video I don't think blue mage should be your first job because it's just a tall order there's just so much uh, that goes into it definitely think it makes a great second job because there's so much it can do but I think you should, you know, have something else kind of help propelling you forward before you're really jumping into that. But yeah, so that's going to about wrap things up here. Uh, there's, yeah, a lot more progress I can be making on blue. Uh, I'll be happy when I get the abjuration pieces because uh, that'll kind of fill out my TP set and I can start really focusing on some of the other sets. Uh, that, you know, Blue Mage is really going to get the most benefit out of. But, again, feel free to leave a comment with any suggestions for uh, gear and how to progress. Uh, I think it's made really good progression so far. It also helps that, uh, again, a lot of the gear has been shared from Thief. Uh, so some of that's been tossed over. Uh, although it is kind of interesting that it has, like, unique compared to the type of job it is it has very unique uh ambuscade armors it can equip but yeah it's a completely different subject matter altogether but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up uh thank you for tuning in thank you for supporting the channel and as always may you have success in all you do